Cancer, welcome to my channel and today we are doing your March monthly reading and this relation, this is going to focus on your love and relationship. This is for the star sign of Cancer, so you could be a Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter or Venus, take it as it resonates with you. So let's see Cancer, what is coming towards you in terms of relationship for the month of March. Let's see, March for Cancer. Oh my God, Cancer. We'll see, we'll see. But this is something. Cancer. Show me for Cancer. Too many. It's serious. <clears throat> Cancer. What else can I say? Well, the only thing I can say is. If you're the emperor, the other person is the empress. And if you are the empress and the other person is the emperor, looks like you both have a same energy, very similar to each other. You are your perfect match. So whether it's the new person or whether it's the person you're with, you definitely fight together. You are your perfect match. You are the emperor and the empress. So you both are very majestic, <clears throat> very royal and loyal to each other. And you both cherish each other. I see there is a lot of dependency. Uh, there's a lot of trust. And there is this mutual respect and growth of uh, one of you, whoever is a female counterpart, whoever is a female cancer, is very nurturing, very beautiful you could be very pretty or if you are the male cancer then whoever you're dealing with is is very pretty because it has a lot of the venus kind of energy in them they're very abundant they could be very creative very artistic and female cancerians if you're, you're dealing with a person who is very 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 headstrong when it comes to their life they they are like the emperor so they are strategists they are very disciplined, very focused in their work, okay? Now your mutual energies. See, what I see is this is something that started where, uh, you know, there, there is uh, a mutual love and respect for each other. You know that there's a lot of passion in the relationship. I see passion. I see love here. And I see you both make each other happy. You both are looking, you are committed. No, none of you are cheating around or look seeing other people, nothing like that. You both are satisfied wherever you are. You both feel very much attuned to each other, very much happy with each other. Maybe later you'll think about whatever, committing to each other or being with each other, but you enjoy each other's company. Only thing that keeps you back here, Cancerians, is that you worry too much. There is too much of a worry. You, you're not sure whether... This is for real. This is for going to stay, not going to stay. It's going to work out, not going to work out. Maybe because of your past experiences. But definitely there is a lot of worry. And also there could be money worries. So one of you is has commitment or relationship worries. Whereas the other person has money worries. The other person feels... So especially if you're a female cancer, you could be having money worries or you, you may not be doing as well as the emperor, as the other person, but that somewhere, you know, want, gives you a complex while with them, so you cannot really open up. 
And if you are a male cancer or if you're the male uh, uh, energy, then I see there is a worry regarding, again, money worries, but also worries about commitments, worry about relationships. What is coming towards you is very beautiful, Cancerians. You have a mutual energy of transformation and balance. So which is very, very good. That means one of you is ready to balance work and life or work and relationship and the other person is going through a lot of changes, is is ending certain things, <coughs> ending certain old habits to begin this new thing. So both of you are very invested in the relationship. It's, even if it's a new relationship, even if you're dating somebody, you're coming across to somebody who is invested in you as much as you are invested in them. So if you like somebody or if you're attracted to somebody, that relationship is going to work out. Only thing is you both have the same trouble. You both worry a lot. So stop worrying, balance your thoughts, balance and find time for each other and make a bit of changes. Maybe a bit of changes are needed from either ways. You need to start balancing your thoughts and your actions and the other person or whoever is the this, the side of the story is has to change a bit has to or there could be for for some of you there there could be some kind of you know the person is going through some kind of you know because the death card here they they could be going through some kind of separation or some kind of worries regarding separation maybe somebody is not well at their place or because then money worries with death so this could mean something unhealthy they're dealing with right now but they definitely want to come towards you be with you and uh, but yeah there's a lot of scope okay both of you have mutual respect for each other but the only thing is that you need is to balance your time balance your thought process and start believing that relationships are possible only thing is don't overdo it don't overdo don't overdo work don't overdo love so you need to find the right balance where you both can be with each other at the same time focus on money focus on wealth focus on abundance okay all right so cancerians this was your love and relationship reading for the month of march and i'll see you later with other videos till then stay happy stay in love and i'll catch you later bye